When you drive through downtown Colorado Springs, you can't help but notice the man on the iron horse. That man, General William Palmer, has earned a prominent place in the heart of the city he founded. After serving in the Army's Command Cavalry during the Civil War, he settled in Colorado. It was his foresight and creativity that helped develop a large part of this state. One of his most important developments was the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad, Palmer's Railroad. He supervised the first railroad to Denver, and with that, helped open up the state for travel. Now a restaurant, this was the original depot for that first railroad to Denver. It now stands as a monument to Palmer. In 1869, Palmer married Queen Mellon and built a home for her just north of the city, the famous Glen Erie Estate. Often noted as one of the handsomest homes in Colorado, the estate was built on 5,000 acres of land and still stands today. Palmer's wife and three children lived here for a while, but never really took to it. Eventually, they moved to England, but Palmer stayed in Colorado and continued to build a city. He founded and financially supported Colorado College. Palmer Hall still stands on the campus. He also established the Colorado School for the Deaf and Blind. It's estimated that he gave more than $4 million during his lifetime and more than 1,600 acres in parks to the city of Colorado Springs, spending millions to help beautify that city. Palmer used to love to ride through the hills on horseback. People say he loved nature. And after an accident on that horse, General Palmer became an invalid and only lived to be 73. But his spirit is still very much alive, the spirit of the man on the iron horse.